Hello YouTube, it is I, Mickey Richards, back again, and today I'm doing something really crazy here. So crazy, so over the top, I can almost guarantee you it's probably never been done before, and it'll probably never be done after this. So, maybe you've heard in the news, maybe you've heard online, but the fast food retailer, KFC, is selling a limited time only holiday fireplace log. That's right, a log you can put in your fire, and supposedly it smells like fried chicken. So, me being the person who likes to collect stuff, junk, collectibles, you know, I can't help myself, I wanted to buy one. But sadly, I went on the website, and it was already sold out. The day that the media started reporting on this seasonal log, claiming it's available, it was already sold out. It had sold out the night before any news organizations had even covered it. So there was no chance of me getting one. I looked on YouTube, there were no reviews. I looked on eBay, couldn't find any for sale. So I said, you know what? Why don't I make my own? Oh yeah. That's where this comes in. This is not just any old log. Well, it is. But this is going to be used to make my special homemade, do-it-yourself, KFC Fire Log. A log with 11 herbs and spices that hopefully smells like some sort of fried chicken or just smells good. Yeah. This is a piece of horse chestnut, if anyone's wondering. Not related to American chestnut or Chinese chestnut. I think it comes from Asia or Europe. And it naturalized in the United States. So this is a piece of horse chestnut. It's probably cut like two years ago. Although I've cut some of the ends off recently. So I'm going to take this log and I'm going to season it. But I said, why stop there? Why not take it a step further? Yeah, bam, canola oil. And by the title, you know what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm going to deep fry this log. That's right. Not only am I going to add herbs and spices to this, but I'm going to deep fry it like a piece of fried chicken and then attempt to eat it. Oh, yeah. In a previous video, you should check out in the link below, I deep fried a holy Bible. Now I'm deep frying a KFC log. That's right, a homemade KFC log. Yeah. And I'm not going to use just 11 herbs and spices. That'd be too easy. I'm using 15, 10, and a 5. 15 herbs and spices will be going into this deep fried, do it yourself KFC log. All right. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to do before we can fry our log is we have to make the batter. So I'm going to start off with two cups of flour. One cup. Two cups. I don't know if this will be enough for the, um... I'll add one more cup. Three cups. Why not? Three cups. That's what I meant to say from the beginning. Three cups. Three cups of flour. Yes. Then, you need one teaspoon of salt. More if you'd like it. We have some salt here. And we've got a teaspoon. There we go. A little more. Oh well. Go away of flavor. This is not an exact recipe because it's a log and nobody's really deep fried a log before, so a piece of wood <laughs> from a tree. So, and then we have baking powder. We're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. One and two. That's right. Now, we've got the, the basic ingredients out of the way. Now we are going to add some spices. That's right. Spice time. So here are our 15 herbs and spices. We have hot curry, 
curry powder. Basically the same thing. Whole oregano. Crushed red pepper. Chipotle powder. Garlic powder. Parsley flakes. Ground cloves. Cumin. I'm cumin. Coriander. Tamaric root. Pumpkin pie spice. Laurie's seasoning salt. Onion powder. Who doesn't love onion powder? Ground cinnamon. And to top it all off, we got some maple syrup I can throw in there. Now that we have everything in there, we have to mix it up a little. Get it nice and mixed. Just mix it in there. Just make sure all the spices are mixed in. Hard to see them now, but it, whew, it certainly smells spicy. It's certainly got a strong, <laughs> kind of a burning smell to it. Okay, got that in there. Now, we have to add the water. So we need to add two and a half cups, or two and three-fourths cups water. Between two and three cups is fine. Just going to mix it together a little bit. Make sure all of the flour gets wet and becomes a nice paste. You don't want it to be too uh, wet so it's just completely dripping off the uh, log. You don't want it to be too dry where it won't stick and it just crumbles off. You want it to have a nice hold. So if you need to add a little more water or flour, you can to this mix. I got a fairly nice batter here. Just make sure the edges, you get the uh, flour off the edges, you don't want that. Okay, we got a nice mix here, a nice batter. Now, before you put the log in with the batter, you have to get the oil heated. So we're going to turn the pan on here. I have a basic fry pan here. It's a bit deep, so it should be able to handle at least half or almost half of the log at a time. I'll have to flip it, but put the heat on to a medium-low heat, I'd say. And then you're going to put the oil in. Now, as you can see, pan is filled with oil, and it is slowly heating up. So, in the meantime, while we wait for it to heat up, we're going to dunk the log in its fried spice batter mixture. Oh yeah. Now this is the messy part. We have the mix here, we have the log here, and we just got to dunk it in. Sorry about the camera angle here, I don't have anyone to help me, and screw getting a tripod. As you can see, the whole thing is coated here. That's nice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gross, but you're going to get that in wet. You want to get the ends, too. You can't leave the ends dry. And, oh, okay. This end. And make sure that all of it is lusciously coated like you were frosting a cake. You want to make sure that none of this is unexposed or exposed. You just want to make sure you've got nice copious amounts of fried batter on there. You want a nice fried log. Now, we're going to put the log in the pan. There we go. And we're just going to let that cook a little. So as you can see, the log here is cooking quite nicely. I'm glad I didn't fill up uh, the pan with the rest of the oil. 
because the log is fairly heavy, so obviously the water rises when you put the log in, so it would have probably overflown, which is the worst thing I need is a grease fire or something on that nature. Right? I don't need spilling oil getting onto a flame. I don't need that. So there is enough room, so I don't have to worry about it overflowing, and the log is in there nicely. And soon the log will hopefully soak up some of the oil. Also, unlike last time, where I burned the Bible I was cooking, check the link below if you want to see that video of me deep frying a holy Bible, but in that video I stupidly thought that the oil had to be boiling before you put something in there to cook. When in reality, when you put an item in there, that's when it starts boiling, when it reacts with the batter. So, this time, hopefully, I won't burn this log, and it'll be a nice golden brown crispy KFC log. Let me just see here. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting a little darker, but it's not ready yet. Still needs time. Okay, now that the log has been cooking on one side for a few minutes, I'm going to attempt to flip it. And I'm not going to pick it up with my hand because I don't want to burn myself. So I've got two forks here, and I'm going to carefully try to flip it without spilling oil anywhere. Hope this works. I'm going to put my sleeves down. I don't want to twist anything. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Yes. Didn't uh, flip it all the way. There's still this side. You can see this side is nicely cooked. And this side still needs work to do, but the bottom here is getting nicely cooked. So I've just managed to very delicately flip it the third time. So now all sides have been under the fryer. The final side is under the fryer now, cooking. So it looks kind of white. It's not very golden brown yet. So I'm going to flip it again, and each side is going to get a second time underneath the oil. So hopefully in a few minutes, after flipping it carefully, so I don't spill hot oil everywhere. This will be a nice golden brown tasty fire log. Oh yeah, look at that nice golden brown KFC chicken looking color. Mm-mm, this thing's almost done. So I've taken the chicken out of the pan, and I've put it on this plate here with some paper towels so to catch any of the drippings. Right, And I thought about filming it, but it was really awkward, and I had to be really careful, and my body would have been in the way anyway. So I moved it from the pan to here. I shut off the pan first so it would slow down and stop bubbling. Then I lifted it, and I moved it to here. So it's going to sit for a few minutes, ten minutes maybe, let it cool down. And then we're going to see how it tastes. And here it is. That's right. I've given it plenty of time to cool. I've removed the paper towels, which were soaking up the leftover oil. And now we have a beautiful, warm, golden brown, deep fried holiday log. That's right. There's a piece of wood underneath this. And it's completely deep fried, even on the edges. Oh, yeah. Now, there are a few parts that are a bit funky looking, like this big blob there and a few others, but those are extra crispy parts. That's right, it says extra, extra, extra crispy, this log. Extra, 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 <laughs> extra crispy. It's just covered in crisp. So, it definitely smells like chicken. A little. Chicken, I think, has more of a meaty smell. This has more of a smoky flavor. The wood really brings out a smoky flavor. And it's got that spice. It's definitely got that spice. Okay? Definitely got the spice. But really, really, it the wood brings out a smoky, earthy flavor. Almost a dirt, earth kind of aroma. Similar to chicken. It's got a very greasy, chickeny smell. But, um... It's just almost there, but it's not quite KFC. Still smells very good. But doesn't smell exactly like KFC. So, mm -hmm. now comes the eating time. 
Oh yeah, this might get a little messy, so warning. Might be gross. But let's give it a try here. This is my do-it-yourself homemade KFC fire log. You can burn it by the fire if you want to, or you can eat it because it's deep fried. And it has 15, 5, and 5 more. Plus the maple syrup, so it's technically 16 herbs and spices. That's right. Let's dig in. I don't even know how to start with this. Hmm. 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 I need some water to help me with this. It's pretty tough, pretty woody tasting. Mmm. 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 Okay. So it's got very thick, very thick crusty coating. So I'm mostly eating the crust now, honestly. But I'm trying to get into some of the wood here and see if it affected the woody flavor. Now normally you're thinking, well, Mickey, people don't eat wood, but why not? It's the holidays. Just try everything once. Mm. 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 This is a piece of bark. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. 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 Oh. Mmm. As Joey's World Tour would go, not there. It's definitely got a smoky, woody flavor. Pretty tough to chew though. If I had beaver teeth, this might be a bit easier. Oh, mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh. Ah. Oh. Mmm. That was like a burl here. Piece of knotty wood. Oh. Oh. Oh.
this is a lot of food, and I don't think I'll be able to finish it, but um, I'm taking a stab at it here. And, um, you know, it's very hefty. So, I think I'm done eating most of it for now. And I think I'm just going to review... Hope I'm not a mess. Probably am. But I'm just going to review it now. So, it's very dense, it's very thick, but it's flavorful. It's crispy, uh, almost a little too crispy. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> almost a little too crispy. Very thick, dense, thick, thick layer of batter here. Very thick. You know, but good. It's flavorful. A little overpowering on the flavor, honestly. Because I add 15, maybe if I took it down a notch to maybe 11, like the kernel did, maybe it'd taste a little less strong. But it's a bit strong as a flavor, a bit tough because of the woody feel. But very woody, smoky flavor. Feels like you're taking a bite out of a campfire. A smoky, greasy, woody flavor. It's not bad it's for a particular kind of person that likes this type of wood. This is a horse chestnut. So I don't know, it's probably a, not a hard wood, but maybe a soft wood. I'm not sure. I think it's a little in between. It's not that hard, but not that soft. So it's kind of a mixed flavor. Um, definitely deep frying it softens up the wood and made it easier for me to take bites out of. I don't think I could have taken bites out of this without deep frying it. So all in all, a nice holiday treat. Here's a good side. Yeah, a nice holiday log for you and your family to enjoy. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. It's a wondrous special time of year. It's not for everyone, but it's for that special someone at this special time of the year. Around Christmas, you huddle by the fire with a deep fried log of wood with herbs and spices, and you just enjoy you just have fun with the family. This will be memories for years to come. This will bring those, so many memories. It was delicious. It was great. I thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment, that would be great. In the description below is a link to my previous deep frying video where I deep fried the Holy Bible and reviewed how it tasted. So if you check that out, please do. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys. This has been a do-it-yourself, deep-fried edition of the KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken's Holiday Fire Log. So it definitely smells like chicken. A little. Chicken, I think, has more of a meaty smell. This has more of a smoky flavor. The wood really brings out a smoky flavor. And it's got that spice. It's definitely got that spice. Okay? Definitely got the spice. But really, really, it the wood brings out a smoky, earthy flavor. Almost a dirt, earth kind of aroma. Similar to chicken. It's got a very greasy, chickeny smell. But, um... It's just almost there, but it's not quite KFC. Still smells very good. But doesn't smell exactly like KFC.